I'm a co-founder and CEO of Mastery Connect. Um, rather than tell you a ton about our company today, I want to talk about where we are going and what I think the future of assessment is. Um, so Mastery Connect is a formative assessment and curriculum platform. Uh, we've been around since 2009. We have some in, an incredible cohort of investors, including uh, Reach Capital, formerly New Schools Venture Fund, uh, Trinity Ventures, Michael and Susan Dell Foundation. We were their first ever program-related investment in the United States. Chan Zuckerberg, an amazing group of, of supporters of Mastery Connect. We started as a, a network of teachers sharing formative assessments around the country. We've grown into a full-scale curriculum and assessment platform. And rather than bore you with a bunch of different numbers, I'm going to tell you the one we're most proud of. The one if you walk into our Salt Lake City office headquarters um, or our, our offices in Amsterdam, you'll see in a dashboard uh, that talks about our impact in the marketplace. So in, in our world, we look at scores for mastery. So a score for mastery is when a teacher is assessing an individual learning standard or target and determines what a student knows or doesn't know so that they can inform their own, own instruction, personalize learning, and target students for intervention. Right now at Mastery Connect, we have over 400 million scores for mastery. Every day, teachers around the country, on the ground, um, determining what students know and don't know in the classroom. Um, well, so <laughs> to introduce my clip here, um, I want to, and, and to introduce the future of assessment, I want to let Bill Gates talk a little bit about the current state of assessment. If we could turn the volume up a little bit on it. If you look at a kid who graduates from high school and wants to go to college, takes an exam, there's two of them that you take on your math, if you get below a certain score, the most popular is called AccuPlace, you're put into remedial math. Now, all you get is that score. You're not told, hey, you've got fractions screwed up, but you're fine on polynomials. You get put into a course where they're going to teach the whole thing. You've been told you're a moron, and you haven't been told what your deficiencies are and given a clear path to focus on those. You've just been told, go sit through it again. And they'll give you, those textbooks are like 400 pages long. <laughs> so you never know what you know and what you don't know. That's my favorite part of what Bill Gates says. When we take assessments today, our end of level assessments or our benchmark interim assessments, we don't truly know what students know relative to the standards. Right now in the market, the Department of Education is talking a lot about innovative assessment pilots. And we see in the market the end of, the end of level, level models are changing. Recently in an EdSurge article, if you saw, um, Sean Cavanaugh wrote about the feds are setting a stage for ESSA innovative testing pilots but vendors aren't ready. Mastery Connect has been on the forefront of being ready for this movement and change, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that. So recently, we just completed a pilot in the state of Kansas, um, working with Kansas University and a leading psychometrician named Dr. Templin, who uh, and just completed it this spring. So in order to talk about this a little bit more, uh, maybe I'll ask, how many people are psychometricians in the room? Raise your hand. We got no psychometricians in the room? That's good, because I'm going to give you a little bit of Psychometrics 101 to help us out today. And to do that, I want to use a, a, an example. How many Bieber fans in the room? Raise your hand. We got no Bieber fans. Miley Cyrus? No Miley Cyrus? Any Taylor Swift fans? Oh, well, there's got to be one Taylor Swift fan out there. So to use a fun example, um, today's testing models use something called classical test theory often called IRT, or item response theory. The problem with today's psychometric models that have been used for over 100 years is that they use weak ordering. They stack kids next to each other, right? They talk about proficiencies and per percentages. They don't get down to what Bill Gates talked about, knowing what kids know and don't know relative to the standards. This is what we end up teachers end up looking at, right? RIT scores, percentiles, not data that actually informs their formative assessment in the classroom, anything that's actionable. This is the, these are the problems we have with current assessment today. The amazing thing now is inter-machine learning and new psychometric approaches, we have ways to solve this problem. This is where we see the future of assessment and what Mastery Connect's been working on and what our, pilot, our recent pilot in the state of Kansas has shown. So this new model is called DCM, or Diagnostic Classification Model. 
So rather than have those percentage scores, that, that graph I just showed you that's hard to understand, something that teachers can't react to in the classroom, classification models actually give us what Bill Gates was talking about. We can look at the standards, those learning outcomes, and we can determine if Miley, Bieber, or Taylor um, understand specific concepts. So in Mastery Connect, makes it really simple to see this. So this is a screenshot from our platform. And what you, what you see at the very top there are the standards uh, for sixth grade math, common core, right? This works with any state. Um, but you can see the first set of standards are ratios and proportions. Um, if I can highlight there, on the far right is a benchmark assessment or interim assessment, right? And what we can do is take teacher formative data. The, the split cells basically show on the left side that's the teacher formative data on the right side is what that interim reliable assessment shows us. So rather than take an end of level assessment, we can now do a through course assessment model with valid and reliable data and actually compare that to what teachers are doing in the classroom to help them inform their instructions and actually get to that standard level so that they know what kids know and don't know. So here's the, the future of assessment as we see it, right? Reliable through course models that have high levels of reliability. We don't have to wait to the end of the year to do these assessments. We can do it through, through course with the same levels of reliability we have in the end of level assessments. We have formative in nature. We have shorter seat times. It actually takes less items to get better results. It's connected to teacher formative data as I just showed you, and it's multidimensional with levels of mastery. We're also at Mastery Connect going to provide a service in the future, in the near future, so that other companies can participate and use our psychometric model as a service. We're really excited about continuing our work direct to districts, but if you're interested, we'd love to chat with you more about um, the future of this and our service. Thank you.